Good morning everyone. I am Jasmine Nicole Enconda from Grade 8 Sampaguita here to present to you my research proposal in life science entitled High Iron Level Content of Malungay, Moringa Oleifera Leaves as a Potential Treatment for Anemia. Introduction. Iron deficiency anemia is a condition concerning millions of people in the world. Commonly, people would use expensive iron supplements as a treatment for this condition. However, the herbal plant malungay, Moringa oleifera, contains a high amount of iron which has the potential for treating iron deficiency anemia. Anemia is caused when a person lacks iron inside the body which is needed in the production of a protein inside the red blood cell called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the protein responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and organs inside the body and carries the carbon dioxide back to the lungs. Without hemoglobin, you, your body will not receive that much oxygen, causing you to be very tired and weak. Malungay, Moringa oleifera is a rich source of nutrients including iron having 0.85 mg for fresh leaves, 25.6 for dry leaves, and highest 28.2 for powdered leaves, all for 100 grams. The product to be made will be a capsule containing the malungay. Moringa oleifera powder. The goal of the study is to prove that the malungay has the potential to increase hemoglobin levels and also to create a cost-effective and effective treatment in treating iron deficiency anemia. Here are the objectives. Number one, to test if malungay has the potential to treat iron deficiency anemia. Two, to determine the active component present in malungay that helps in treating iron deficiency anemia. And lastly, number three, to test if malungay is an effective treatment for iron deficiency anemia. Statement of the problem. The main purpose of the study is to prove that the iron content of malungay, moringa oleifera, has the potential to treat iron deficiency anemia. Here are the questions to be answered by the researcher upon the development of the study. Number one, does malungay or moringa oleifera have the potential to treat iron deficiency anemia? Number two, are there any active components present in malungay or moringa oleifera that helps in treating iron deficiency anemia? Number three, is malungay, moringa oleifera, an effective treatment for iron deficiency anemia? Here are the null and alternative hypotheses formed out of the statement of the problem. Significance of the study This study is beneficial to the needy, community, the medical field, the researcher herself, to the school, and to the future researchers. Scope and limitation of the study the objective of this study is to make a treatment for iron deficiency anemia using malungay, moringa oleifera. All of the materials will be gathered by the researcher at Navarro, Ge City of General Trias, Cavite. This study will be conducted from the first week of May up to the last week of June. Here are the review of related legal bases, foreign studies, and local studies. And now here is the conceptual framework. Figure 1 shows the flow of the experimental process which starts with the collection of the materials along with the objective of making a treatment for iron deficiency anemia using malungay or moringa oleifera. And here is the Gantt chart. Now for the methodology proper. As an introduction, to be able to test the effectiveness of malungay as a potential treatment for anemia, the researcher shall perform the proposed methodology below. The shown procedure is divided into four phases starting from the collection of materials to be used, the process of getting the malungay leaf powder, making of the capsule, and lastly, trials and setups to be conducted. Part A, gathering of the materials. To begin, the researcher will gather the needed materials, which are 50 grams of malungay leaves, water, a, blend, a blender, Size 1 hard jettying capsules, funnels, bowls, and containers. Part B. Process of getting the malungay leaves powder. For the first procedure, the researcher will collect a container of malungay leaves totaling 50, 50 grams collected in our neighborhood in Barangay, Navarro, General Trias, Cavite. 
Next, the researcher will wash the leaves in water and sand dry them for two days. The researcher will then grind the ma dried malunggay leaves into fine powder using a blender. Part C. Making the capsule. The researcher will then put the powdered malunggay leaves in a clean bowl. The researcher will use a size 1 hard gelatin capsule to hold the powder. The researcher will begin by separating the top and bottom half of the capsule by gently pulling the top half of the capsule. Next, the researcher will use a funnel to add the malunggay leaves powder inside the capsule. Lastly, the researcher will cover the bottom half of the capsule with the top half to seal it. The researcher will now put the made capsules in a cool and dark place for storage. Part D. Trials and Setups For the trials, the researcher shall ready the capsule that contains the malunggay leaves powder that will work as a treatment for anemia in for anemia. In this trial, the amount of times the main variable is consumed will be the independent variable. For the first trial, the consumer will intake one capsule every day for 30 days. For the second trial, the consumer will consume two capsules every day for 30 days. And lastly, for the third trial, the consumer will intake three capsules every day for 30 days. Here are the references that was used in the study. And that will be all for my presentation. Once again, I am Jasmine Nicole Enconda from Grade 8 Sampaguita, here to present to you my research proposal in life science entitled High Iron Level Content of Malungay, Moringa Olifera Leaves as a Potential Treatment for Anemia. Good morning everyone. Once again, I am Jasmine Nicole Enconda from Grade 8 Sampaguita, here to present to you my research proposal in applied science entitled High Vitamin C Content of Avocado, Persia Americana seed extract as a main ingredient in making an organic facial serum. For the introduction, many of the teenagers and adults in this generation are all facing a very common problem with regards to their face. Skin aging, acne, and dark spots are all common problems that are already solved with different products such as moisturizers, skincare products, and etc. But we cannot deny that all of these products each contain harmful chemicals which can harm or damage our skin. Facial serum contains many different benefits for the face such as soothing sensitive patches of the face, protection from harmful effects, and hydrating your skin. But as said, it contains many chemicals which are harmful to the skin which results in a lot of damage especially since the face is covered with the most delicate and sensitive skin. Vitamin C has many benefits for the skin such as preventing premature aging, reducing dark spots, moisturizing skin, and is a great antioxidant. Vitamin C found inside the avocado seed is a high source of polyphenolic compounds such as the flavonoids which takes in the form of catechin. It also contains alkaloids which have various biological properties such as antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging, same with the catechin. Therefore, we can make an organic facial serum using avocado, persia americana as the main ingredient as an alternative for those harmful products. This study will be conducted by the researcher to, pro to prove the effect effectiveness of avocado, persia americana seed extract as a main ingredient for an organic facial serum. The goal of this study is to create an organic facial serum that eventually will be able to solve the different problems being encountered by teenagers adults and other people with their face. For the objectives, number one, to prove that the avocado persia americana seed extract can be used as a main ingredient for organic facial serum. Number two, to determine the active component present in the avocado seed extract that helps in making it a main ingredient for facial serum. Number three, to test if the avocado seed extract is effective as a main ingredient for making an organic facial serum. Statement of the problem. The main objective of the study is to prove that the vitamin C content of avocado, Persia americana seed extract, can be used as a main ingredient in making an organic facial serum. The researcher aims to answer the following questions upon the development of the study. Number one, is it possible to use avocado, Persia americana seed extract as a main ingredient in making an organic facial serum? Number two, are there any active components present in avocado persia americana that is effective enough to make avocado persia americana a main ingredient in making an organic facial serum? And number three, is the avocado persia americana an effective 
seed extract, an effective main ingredient for making a facial serum. Here are the null and alternative hypotheses formed out of the statement of the problem. Significance of the study. This study is beneficial to the needy, community, economy, to the researcher herself, and to the school, and to the future researchers. Scope and limitation of the study. The researcher conducted this study to create an organic facial serum using the avocado for sea americana seed extract as the main ingredient. The researcher will collect the materials at Navarro City of General Trias, Cavite. This study will be conducted at Kensington 1, Lancaster, City of General Trias, Cavite. The study will be conducted from the first week of May up to the last week of June. Here are the review of related legal bases, foreign studies, and local studies. Here is the conceptual framework. Figure 1 shows a flow of the experimental process which starts with the collection of the materials along with the objective of making an organic facial serum using avocado, Persia Americana, seed extract. And here is Gantt chart. For the methodology proper, Introduction to the procedure. To be able to test the effectiveness of avocado seed extract as a main ingredient in making an organic facial serum, the researcher shall perform the proposed methodology below. The shown procedure is divided into three phases starting from the collection of materials to be used, process of getting the avocado seed extract, and lastly, the making of the organic facial serum. Part A. Gathering of the materials. To begin, the researcher will gather the needed materials such as the avocado seeds, 500 ml of distilled water, Soxlet extractor, rotary evaporator, blender, 300 ml of methanol, two vitamin E capsules, utensils, containers, droppers, and other needed measuring materials. Part B. Process of getting the avocado seed extract. For the first procedure, the researcher will collect five pieces of avocado collected in our neighborhood in Barangay, <coughs> Navarro General Trias, Cavite. Next, the researcher will soak the avocados in a container filled with water and wash them. Next, the researcher will manually, one, manually remove the avocado seeds using any clean utensil. Once again, the researcher will wash the seeds and sun-dry them for one hour. The researcher will then grind the avocado seeds into fine powder by the use of a blending machine. After that, the researcher will use a soxlet extractor in extracting the powdered avocado seed using 300 ml of methanol as the solvent. 15 grams of the powdered avocado seed is added into the timbo which is loaded into the main chamber of the soxlet extractor. The researcher will let the soxlet extractor cycle for a minimum of 8 hours. Lastly, to achieve the pure extract, the researcher will use a rotary ev evaporator in removing the solvent. Part C. Making the organic facial serum. First, the researcher will mix the pure avocado seed extract with 15 ml of distilled water using a dropper. Then, the researcher will puncture two of the vitamin E capsules and squeeze its oil onto the mixture. The researcher will now stir all of the ingredients together until it is mixed. Lastly, the researcher will seal the product in an airtight container and store it for around 24 hours in a place that is not exposed to sunlight. Part B. Trials and Setups For the trials, the researcher shall ready the avocado seed extract that will work as a main ingredient for facial serum. In this trial, the amount of the extract will serve as the independent variable, while the distilled water will serve as the controlled variable. To ensure the accuracy of each measurement, the researcher will use measuring materials in measuring. For the first trial, the researcher will mix 8 drops of the avocado seed extract with 15 ml of distilled water. For trial 2, the researcher will mix 10 drops of the avocado seed extract with 15 ml of distilled water. And lastly, for trial 3, the researcher will combine 15 drops of the avocado seed extract with 15 ml of distilled water. Here are the references used in this study. And that will be all for my presentation. Once again, I am Jasmine Nicole Enconda from Grade 8 Sampaguita, here to present to you my research proposal in, a, in Applied Science entitled 
High vitamin C content of avocado, Persia americana seed extract as a main ingredient in making an organic facial serum. The researcher is now ready to answer some questions. For the questions, let me begin with the life science. Number one, what is the active chemical component? Though it is not a compound, the one responsible in Manungay for treating anemia is the iron itself as it is the mineral needed for the production of hemoglobin. Question number two, what is the significance of your study? This study is significant mainly for anemic people. Iron supplements are expensive and have multiple side effects unlike my product which contains no chemicals that are harmful to the body and is cost effective at the same time. Number three, why choose that variable? Malungay can commonly be found almost everywhere in the Philippines. Most of the time, it is found in our neighborhood or our family's garden. Because of this, we don't need to buy a different variable at the supermarket, making our product more cost-effective. Question number four. What is the difference of my proposed product with the commercially available product? Iron supplements have many side effects such as heartburn, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, and cramps. Aside from that, this is, it is also very expensive. The proposed product, on the other hand, has no side effects, cheap, and also can serve as a treatment for other conditions because malungay contains many different vitamins for different kinds of diseases. For question number five, highlight the methodology. For part A, gathering of the materials, the researcher only collected 50 grams of malungay leaves as the researcher won't be adding a high amount of the powder to the capsule. All the other materials can already be found at home besides the capsules. The researcher chose a hard gelatin capsule to hold the powder since it is what's commonly used for holding herbal powder. Lastly, for question number six, what is the significance of the lab techniques that is used? The researcher decided to sun dry the leaves as dried malungay leaves contains more iron than fresh leaves. It will take about two days to remove the moisture from the leaves. The heat of the sun does not affect the iron in any way. The researcher grinded the malungay leaves using a blender instead of a mortar and pestle because it is a simpler and faster way. And it is also less more time consuming than using the mortar and pestle. Now for the applied science, for question number one, what is the active chemical component? It was stated in the introduction that the active component inside the vitamin C is the flavonoids which takes in the form of catechin and another compound which is the alkaloids. They both have various biological properties such as antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging. Number two, what is the significance of your study? This study is significant for people who have facial conditions such as dry skin, dark spots, and etc. Mostly, it is, it is significant for people with sensitive skin as the product to be made is organic. The product is also cost-effective. Number three, why choose that variable? When eating avocados, the seed is mostly thrown away after eating. The avocado seed is a high source of vitamin C, which the researcher will be using for her study. The researcher chose the avocado seed as a variable so that it can be recycled as a main ingredient for facial serum instead of being thrown away. Question number four, what is the difference of the proposed product from the commercially available product? First of all, the proposed product is organic and contains no harmful chemicals unlike, unlike the commercially available products. Second, it is cost-effective and is cheaper than the products you can buy at the store. Question number five, highlight the methodology. The researcher included two vitamin E capsules as, as vitamin C and E coordinates well for facial products. Only two capsules of vitamin E was used to ensure that the vitamin C content of the extract is dominant. All of the materials used can mostly be found at home aside from the methanol and the vitamin, C, vitamin E capsules. The researcher used 15 ml of distilled water as the controlled variable as vitamin C dissolves very well with water. Lastly, question number six. 
what is the significance of the lab technique used? The researchers sun dried the seeds for only one hour just to remove the moisture outside of the seed, which came from washing the seeds. The avocado seed must not be dried for too long as the heat of the sun can destroy the vitamin C inside the avocado seed. The researcher grinded the seeds using a blender since it is less time consuming than using a mortar and pestle. For the extraction of the avocado seed, the researcher used a soxlet extractor as it is an efficient way of getting the extract of a, of a seed variable. 300 ml of methanol was used as the solvent as 20 times more of the amount of the solute is commonly used as the solvent on soxlet extraction. Methanol was used as a solvent instead of ethanol since vitamin C is more soluble with methanol. The soxlet extractor was cycled for 8 hours since that is the minimum amount for soxlet extraction. The rotary evaporator was used to remove the solvent after the extraction process. And that will be my answers for the questions. Once again, I am Jasmine Nicole Enconda from Grade 8 Sampaguita, presenting my research proposal in both life and applied science.